Hi everyone. Uh, today we decided to talk about a project of our own that we worked on. It's a film called A Noir Christmas, which we shot and edited and did music for in like 48 hours, to, right before Christmas, to have like a little pr Christmas present to give to people. It was like a day before, it was like the 22nd or the 23rd or something. We probably had the idea on 21st night. It was very spontaneous. Yannick got a frantic call from Sebastian. We need jazz music now. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> My name is Yannick Günther and I did the music. My name is DC, I did art direction. Uh, my name's Mike Chrisomalis. I did the cinematography and the voiceover. Um, my name is Sebastian Schnabel, and I was the director, editor, and the actor. You said it's going to be a noir movie mm -hmm. with, with a detective. So I try to come up with some spontaneous jazz music, even if I don't really know how to play jazz music. We knew we wanted this noir, depressed narrator and pair that with the comfort of a Christmas story. As we were like setting up for the first shot, you were like writing the words and we were like workshopping it too. Also, we just moved, well, it's shortly after we moved into that space. Yeah. Well, it's our first space. Mm -hmm. uh, and then right away, we're like, this looks like a 30s, 40s detective office. We have to shoot something here with a detective story. And when we only had 48 hours, we're like, there's no time for location scouting. Use this, like we always talked about, yeah. Yeah, we wanted that, you know, whatever, through the blinds kind of light. Right, blinds, yeah. So, and we didn't have any like, it was very much like use what we have right now. We didn't have like a big frame. We didn't have like blinds sitting around that we could set up on a C stand and shoot a light through. We just had to like, CC built this tiny little thing like with ca cardboard and like little strips of tape. I think we ended up, we used gaff tape. Yeah. I spent a ridiculous amount of time on that um, white little bow on the suitcase because we didn't have anything. So we didn't made... have ribbon, right? No, nothing. So I made one with a uh, white gaff tape. For the lighting, we used um, a lot of practicals, but we had one light through those fake blinds. And we, Noir is marked by high contrast, deep shadows, and you know, uh, so we, we went with a harder light. We used almost no, there was a little bit of diffusion, but we wanted to keep the light a little hard to, um, you know, get that clear, distinct, you know, lit shadow side. I don't know, the shot through the ceiling fan was fun, standing up on a ladder. The fan is in a very dangerous area on my body. No manhoods were harmed in the making of this film. So. How long did it take you, Yannick, to compose the music? I think it took only an evening. Sure. It, it was very spontaneous and um, the best way to play jazz music is to not know how to play jazz music. I think everybody does it that way and it worked. The movie is really short, so there wasn't very much music to compose. Most of the jazz part is really just improvising on the piano uh, with, with notes that sound cool. And that, that's my secret. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got to watch the whole movie or at least a raw cut. I think I composed the music directly with having the already finished scenes play on the other screen. Usually I start composing um, based on the script or based on what you're telling me uh, when we talk about it. And usually I got to see the, the scenes or the raw cut later when I already got some ideas. Mike, did the music affect your way of narrating the film? I think it, it's just the mood. I think I'd heard the music. Obviously I know what we shot and I just kind of had that mood helped with like like the cadence and 
tone and everything. Something in me wished it would embrace me and freeze my thoughts like it did those filthy streets. Mike uh, recording the voiceover in the closet. In the closet? Yeah, I was in the closet. Because there's clothes, it can, it dampens the echo, you know. You kind of talk into the hanging clothes so that it doesn't. So we didn't have any. It, like, it sounds very professional. <laughs> And you had a cold, right? Yeah, I was sick, <laughs> which kind of helped. I was sick, and I think I was drinking whiskey. Adds a little bass to the voice, I think. So sick and drunk. Yeah, in the closet. In the closet. <laughs> start the start to any good holiday season, you know. And it was not your closet. You had to borrow that closet. Right. <laughs> Sick and drunk in a stranger's closet. <laughs> yes. And then, yeah, Sebastian, we had whiskey on set as a set piece, and then you were drinking it. So you're like very much doing method acting there. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was a prop. We knew that I would drink some of it, I guess. That I would like, wow, I'm like looking through the files and I would like sip on it a little bit. I don't know, we didn't really think of like using, even though it's black and white, we could have probably easily replaced it with something, but we didn't think of it. And sometimes you just have to redo takes way more often, or like we just did things a little different or tried things around. And so stuff as I was acting, I kept sipping on that whiskey. Mike bought that whiskey and then put it on the table and said, we need to drink some because we need the bottle and we won't just throw the, the whiskey away, but it needs to look like someone's been drinking it. So right before it started shooting, I don't know if just you two uh, yeah, took was, a shot. <laughs> this detective is an alcoholic. Like every detective. You know, we like called it off, you know, we're gonna roll. It's like sound speeds and like camera speeds. And then Sebastian's like, Sebastian. Sebastian speeds. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Camera speed. Sebastian speed. Fuck off. Camera speed. I hate you. That was super late at night. It was probably two or three in the morning. And here's, you know, Sebastian having a good time, getting <laughs> just sitting down like Sebastian speeds. <laughs> Sebastian, you directed and acted. Mm -hmm. How is that? <laughs> Not in the um, Not for me. I love acting. Not here. That was something I was super excited about in this film because I haven't acted for years. And if so, it was only like the tiniest little cameo, like a little moment or like some person in the background. There was one film where I'm like in the end have a tiny role as a German tourist in the US. But then acting and directing is hard because I'm on screen and I'm doing something and then I have to like get up and like move to mic and look at the camera and look at what we got and like replay it sometimes. And so it can take longer. Um, it, it's pretty hard considering you're drunk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But isn't it ironic that even though we have these strange times, this is the first time we're all talking together about like a film of ours. Strange times bring people together. We're like, what can we do now? Oh, we need to talk to our friends. That's important. <laughs> <laughs> we should mention that we are on different continents. Yeah. Right? Here's a map. Sebastian's going to bring up a map. It's going to go. Yeah. Yes. And then you're seeing it right now. I don't know which side is, but here's us. And there's, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Pretty accurate, yeah. We have to show the map of our apartment because we, we do are in different rooms. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like what we're talking about and we'll talk about a lot more films in the future. Yay! Yay, short and sweet. We did it. No clap from Yannick. We don't oh. get a clap. <laughs> don't do it now. Just <laughs> <laughs>